So today I thought about this amazing story. There was a couple that did not get along and the husband decided he wants to divorce his wife and that's it after so many years of trying and she was not nice to him and things were very bad. And he went to see Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So we're talking about 2000 years ago or something like that, maybe even a little bit more. And he came to Rabbi Shimon and told him, listen, my wife, she's not a good person, I'm not managing, and she's not good, and I want to divorce her. So Rabbi Shimon told him, listen, I think you're right, you should divorce, but like that when you got married and you decided to be together, you did it with a party. So also now, separate with a party. You were happy to become a couple and to get married. So now... You should come to this decision together with a happy heart that you want to celebrate. So make a big celebration and uh, and separate and it will be nice. So they called all their friends and they invited important guests and everyone came and there was a huge party and everyone were happy and drinking and whatever. And in the end of the party when they were all drunk, so the husband came to his wife and told her, if you maybe want to... Um, if there is anything that I can do for you before we're separating. Oh, Shalom, we have the guest of honor. Come, say Shalom. Guest of honor. How are you, Miki? Good. Yes? So, he told his uh, wife while he was a little bit uh, drunk um, from the party. Um, if there is anything precious in the house, whatever is important for you, you can take it and she looked at him and she told him you're the most precious thing that I have in the house and in the next day for sure they came to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and they explained to him that they don't want to divorce anymore so we need to learn some people finding it very easy and maybe for all of us it's easier to blame and to put the fault on someone else because of him I'm not happy, he's doing this, she's doing that, whatever, it's very easy to blame. But if you take from your side the responsibility to make life better, and you take the responsibility on it, and it's also in the relationship with the Creator, instead of waiting and, oh, when the salvation will come, and I'm waiting for it for so long, bring the salvation. It's in your hands. It's in our hands. You want to have a better relationship with your soulmate? Make it better. You want to have a better relationship with your children? Make it better. You want to have more money? You want to find the right advice? Think about it. Don't lay on your couch and be sad and depressed and broken. Wait for the salvation from heaven. No. Look for salvations. Look for solutions. Look for ways how to make more money, how to become more productive, more active, more positive. And then the Creator will dress Himself in, 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 in the salvation that, that you need. The Creator helps the ones who help themselves. We need to take responsibility on our lives and to be better in any possible way that we can. Thank you. Israel, you want to say goodbye? Come, guest of honor, say goodbye. Bye. Bye, Mickey.